Even colour itself is, is a consequence of perception. If you look at the grass out there, and people say the grass is green. I would actually beg to differ. The grass is, like everything, is black and white. We add the colour through, through our biological perceptive mechanism. A dog would disagree with you. A dog would say, that's not green, it's beige. Because humans have three photoreceptors in the eyes that, give us a, that allow us to see our primary colours. And all colours that we see are a consequence of overlapping of these three primary colours. So we're called trichromats. We see in three, we have three photoreceptors. But a dog only has two. So a dog sees grass as beige, kind of beige. So is the grass green or is it beige? It's neither. It's just whatever your perception is. Now, similarly, if I was to look at a pink flower, I'm saying pink because Ruby's got a lovely pink dress on. It just caught my eye there. And if I saw a pink flower, then I, I might say, oh, look at that pink flower. But I, I, a dog or, or another species with only two, two photoreceptors might say, well, it's not pink at all. It's a kind of dark browny, maroony coloured. And you might say, oh, what a shame for that poor, that poor dog. That it's almost as if it's blind. It hardly sees anything. But then a foraging insect comes along who has four photoreceptors, which allows them to see something at 10 billion hues of colour more than we do. And it will come along and it say, is that all you see? Because what, a, tri what a, a tetrachromat with four photoreceptors sees is something that's about 12 feet wide with pulsing plumes of ultraviolet colours swirling and moving in response to the temperature of the environment and the sun ray, the, the, the way that the angle that the sun strikes the, the, the different flower, and that sends plumes of rotating and pulsing ultra, ultraviolet magnetic fields, and the foraging insect sees that. And you would say, well, the flower's pink. And that would say, no, it's not. You say it's pink and it's that size, and the foraging insect says, no, it's not, it's not pink, it's ultraviolet, and it's about three meters wide. So who's right? Neither, it's just down to perception. And true, it's actually black and white. But we add, we add the, everything is light or not light. We actually add the colour through our perception. So it's almost the foraging insect would say to us, oh, what a shame, it's almost like the humans are blind. Isn't it? So the, the point I'm making is so much of what you experience is, is due to what you perceive. And when it comes to the mind-body connection, your perceptions to a very large extent shape much of your biology.